in his latest video, Ruif, quite cleverly debunks Witsit's ridiculous claim that reflection affects light, not the absence of light. And the silhouette is an absence of light, therefore the silhouette is not refracted. Witsit has started this nonsense when discussing this picture of Mount Kanagu, and Ruif reconstructed the situation both on a flat earth and on a spherical earth. Because Witsit acknowledges the existence of refraction, Ruif has drawn the bending light trajectories taking refraction under standard conditions into account. At the end of the video Ruif says this. Now you've probably heard the claim uh, that when you see the sun touch the horizon, uh, it's actually geometrically already fully below the horizon. So refraction lifts astronomical objects up by about half a degree at the horizon uh, and the sun is about half a degree in angular size uh, and this has been known for at least 300 years. So in this diagram I've removed Kanagu and I'm just showing the sun's rays and in particular look at these two lower rays. Their path is coming up from under the geometric horizon but they still reach the observer because the light is curving downwards. Now let's add the mountain back in uh, and you'll see that the bottom ray is now hitting the back of the mountain. So that light does not reach the observer. So what does the observer see? He sees a silhouette. And the key thing to realize here is that it does not matter where the blockage is along that path. The principle is the same. That path of light is being blocked whether it's below the geometric horizon or not. At that moment I started to say to my computer screen, draw the line along which the observer sees the curved trajectory and then ask the question. But Ruhiv didn't and I thought that was a pity because now he basically just says that the silhouette is refracted and that is what Witsit denies is happening. What line would you ask? And what question would Ruif have had to ask? I'll show it on the diagram Ruif draws on a flat earth. After all, that's how Widget thinks our world looks like. This line, the tangent line to the bent light ray, just above the top of the mountain, at the point of the observer. And this line, the line from the observer to the top of the mountain. This line would be the line of sight from, for the observer when, as Witsit claims, the silhouette would not be refracted. And then the question would be, what does the observer see between these two lines? The sun, but that couldn't be because there is no refracted light ray beneath the one I have drawn the tangent line to. Everything beneath it is blocked by the mountain. Or would he see a black hole? La La Land? Heaven? Would he see an impossible hole in his field of view? Of course not, he would see the silhouette, refracted and all. Because where there is no light refracted, there is the silhouette. A silhouette owes its existence to the light that surrounds it. If that light gets refracted, then the silhouette is refracted too by definition. The whole premise of Witsit would lead to an impossibility, a hole in your vision between the silhouette itself and the surrounding light. So his premise must be wrong. But that's how poorly Witsit thinks things through. And that's because, although Witsit thinks that he is the modern version of Leonardo da Vinci, in reality, Witsit has the intellect of a caveman with access to the internet. <laughs>